Hello kids, today's video topic is morphology and anatomy of frog grade 11. So first let's talk about the classification of frog. Frog belongs to kingdom Animalia, phylum Chordata, class Amphibia and scientific name Rana tigrina. Rana is genus and tigrina is species. Frogs are poikilotherm means they are cold-blooded. Their temperature varies from according to their environment. They show mimicry and or camouflage. Mimicry or camouflage means they change their body color according to their surroundings or environment. So if they are in grass, they turn into green in color. And if they are on land, sometimes they turn into brown in color. So they can change their body color according to their environment. That is called mimicry or camouflage. They show hibernation and estivation. Means when there is extreme summer and winter, they go for sleep. Hibernation means winter sleep and estivation means summer sleep and they go for sleep in burrows okay next is morphology so frog body is divided into head and trunk okay so here is the head and here is the trunk okay also their skin is moist smooth and slippery because of the mucus and their dorsal side of skin is olive green in color and the ventral side belly side is pale yellow in color they have one pair of nostril also they have bulging eyes okay their eyes is covered by nictitating membrane this membrane protect their eyes in water also help them to see in water Behind the eye, there is a membranous structure is found called tympanum. Tympanum work as the ear. It receives sound signals. Okay. They have forelimb and hind limb. Hind limb is much bigger, muscular and stronger than the forelimb. Okay. Forelimb have four digits. Hind limb have five digits. Hind limb have webbed feet. This webbed feet help them in swimming. Okay. Also, the frog show sexual dimorphism. Okay. Means you can differentiate between male and female. So, how you identify the male and female? Male have pouch-like structure called vocal sac. Okay. Also, Below the first digit of forelimb, they have copulatory pad. This copulatory pad help male to hold the female during copulation. Okay. So, how can you differentiate between male and female? Male have vocal sac and copulatory pad. Next is anatomy. In anatomy, first we talk about the digestive system. Their digestive system have two parts, elementary canal and digestive gland. Frog elementary canal is short because they are carnivores. Okay. Their elementary canal start from mouth. So food through mouth enter into buccal cavity, then pharynx, then food enter this tube-like structure called esophagus. Through esophagus, food enter into stomach. Stomach release gastric juice plus HCL, okay? And this stomach turn food into chyme, which is a semi-solid waste. Then this food from stomach enter into the first part of intestine, which is known as duodenum, okay? In duodenum, here liver produce bile, which is stored into gallbladder, and a, uh, from gallbladder, a bile duct enter into pancreas. Pancreas release pancreatic juice. Okay. Then pancreatic duct and bile duct both combine and form a hepatopancreatic duct or common bile duct. This common bile duct bring bile and pancreatic juice to the first part of the intestine called duodenum where final digestion take place. Okay, so bile emulsify fat. Okay, emulsify fat. 
and this pancreatic juice digests carbohydrate plus protein okay then the food enter to the rest of the part of the intestine where absorption take place okay for absorption intestine have finger like projection called villi and microvilli okay so absorption take place in intestine then undigested food enter into the rectum from rectum to cloaca and through cloacal aperture it excrete out from the body okay so what is the sequence of digestive system in frog first mouth then buccal cavity okay then pharynx then esophagus then stomach then intestine then rectum then cloaca and then cloacal aperture okay and what are the digestive gland in frog liver gall bladder pancreas okay so this is about the digestive system in frog next modes of respiration so because frog live in water and land both so they have many type of modes of respiration in water frog respire through cutaneous respiration means through skin by the process called diffusion gaseous exchange take place or respiration take place okay cutaneous respiration frog also show cutaneous respiration in land as well as during hibernation and estivation means summer sleep and winter sleep that time also frog respire through skin okay now at land pulmonary respiration take place pulmonary respiration means frog respire through lung okay their lung is elongated pink sac like structure here it is okay but their lungs are not well developed okay so air enter through nostrils to buccal cavity to pharynx to this lungs and gaseous exchange take place because the lungs are not well developed so at land also frog respire through skin cutaneous respiration take place and also buccopharyngeal respiration so the membrane of buccal cavity and pharynx okay they also help in respiration so this is about the mode of respiration in frog half of the topic is explained here i hope you like it rest of the topic i will explain in next video Thank you. Please like, share, subscribe my channel.